Collar a Titan. Welcome back to GK Natural History, and the dinosaur of the day is Ollera Titan. A skeleton of Ollera Titan was found during the 1999 and 2001 excavations at Kundar, the Urdu Chukan formation close to the Kundar rail station. Many scientists like E. Kurochkin, A. Averyanov, E. Bugdaeva, P. Bultink, and V. Markovich supported the research. These excavations were funded by the National Geographic Society and the Jurassic Foundation. There were many other individuals or organizations that participated in the funding of the studies. This formation is a natural geological rock formation and forms part of the Sagayan group in the Amur region, the Asian Far Eastern area of Russia. It underlies the Burea Formation and sits upon the Kundu Formation. The Uduchukan Formation yielded bones of dinosaurs and other vertebrates. Uncovered fossils were dated to the late Cretaceous period, particularly the Maastrichtian Age. More recent studies suggest that it also could contain material from the mid-Cretaceous period. Fossils from this formation are usually about 70 to 66 million years old. Some researchers believe that the formation continued with the Lance Creek and Hell Creek formations of North America before the continents broke apart. But let's break down how the scientists Pascal Goldfreit and colleagues designed the name for this hadrosaur. The first part of the name, Olora Titan, the Olor, comes from the Latin word meaning swan. Due to its elongated neck and the crest on top of the head, the dinosaur resembles a swan, or at least it did to the scientists who categorized it. The Titan means large or gigantic, given in reference to the large size. Therefore, Together it describes the giant or gigantic swan. But what do you think? Do you agree with this description? Let us know in the comment section down below. The specific name, Aharensis, was given in honor of the county, the Ahara, where the holotype specimen of this dinosaur was discovered. Olor Titan was named and described by paleontologist Pascal Goldfreit of the Royal Belgian Institute of Natural Sciences and his colleagues in 2003. So far, it is the most complete Lambiosaurine skeleton found outside North America to date. The Ozzera Titan was classified as an Ornithischian dinosaur. It belongs to the clade Ornithopoda, the family Hadrosauridae and subfamily Lambiosaurinae. The ornithopods were some of the most successful plant-eating dinosaurs of the Cretaceous period. Dinosaurs in the subfamily Lambiosaurinae are more closely related to the Lambiosaurus that was the largest hadrosaur. Like many other hadrosaurid dinosaurs, Olera Titan was also equipped with a very distinctive crest on top of its head. Its thin bony crest rose up from the top and rear of the skull and pointed backwards. It was broad, hollow, and of a hand fan shape. It dominated the skull and gave it a striking look. It is believed that the crests of Lambiosaurine hadrosaurs were not only used for show, but had a wider use. For example, it may have been used to recognize their own species, similarly to the Ceratopsian dinosaurs' horns and frills. It is also possible that the hollow structure of the crest may have given this dinosaur the ability to make sound of low-frequency calls over long distances, similarly to Parasaurolophus. Probably each specimen had their own call, depending on the shape of the nasal passage inside their skull. Some parts of the crest were crushed and fragmentary. Therefore, if another skull was found in the future, scientists could do more research and establish the nasal root. The snout was in the form of a bill, like in present-day ducks. The bill contained teeth in the form of batteries. They allowed Olora Titan to efficiently graze on plant food. There were 18 neck vertebra in an Olora Titan skeleton, more than in other hadrosaurs. 
although it wasn't as long as in sauropods, but long enough to resemble a swan-like look. The length is estimated at 8 meters or 26 feet. Although some sources claim that Olera Titan was even larger, reaching up to 10 to 12 meters or about 36 to 40 feet. Its weight was about 4,500 to 5,500 kilos. So it was quite a large dinosaur for a hadrosaur. It had 18 cervical vertebra and 15 to 18 sacral vertebra, which is more than in most hadrosaurids. While the forelegs of this dinosaur were slender, the hind legs were muscular and powerful. Both the femur and the tibia of its legs were of similar size, indicating that it could be quite agile. The first few conchigial vertebra of its tail were fused together, giving it some rigidity at the base. The skeletons were found without either hands or feet. This was probably due to scavengers picking over the bodies before they were buried. The Olera Titan is a Lambiosaurine hadrosaur, a group of dinosaurs that had duck-like bills and were herbivorous. Hadrosaurs were most commonly found in North America. Their fossils in North America are dated back to the Maastrichtian age. Although Olera Titan is not represented by many specimens, scientists believe that they were abundant and flourished in the Asian environment. It probably shared its habitat with the Charonosaurus, some theropods, crocodiles, and many turtles. Dinosaurs such as the Amurosaurus, a Lambiosaurine hadrosaur sauropod, Archaravia, Sauralophine hadrosaurus such as Kerberosaurus and Kundurosaurus were also unearthed from this formation. As we have said, the Olera Titan was a plant-eating dinosaur. Its teeth were well adapted for grazing and chewing. It lived in the Asian woodlands and possibly even reached Europe. Most scientists assume that it was likely a bipedal dinosaur that stood on all four limbs only while feeding. So far, the information about its social or nesting behavior is not available. They probably warned their own species about approaching predators by making sounds or calls and then running away at a decent speed. The remains of the Olera Titan are currently preserved and available to the public eye in the Amor Museum of Natural History in Blagofoshensk, in Russia. And the skeleton is one of the biggest findings known as Vanyusha. The museum is located in one of the oldest and most beautiful buildings of the town. It used to be a branch of the Kunz and Albers Trading Company, whose founders, the Germans Gustav Albers and Gustav Kunst, were traders in the Far East. It is also one of the oldest museums in the Far East, in times when the last Russian Tsar, Nicholas II, visited the region. Blagoveshensk Paleontological Museum is proud to have the largest collection of dinosaurs in all of Russia. There are 26 halls containing more than 160,000 items. Some of them are quite unique. The name of the museum was given in honor of the well-known Far Eastern scientist G.S. Novikov Dorsky. These videos take a very long time to create. If you would like to support the channel and assist in improving it, then do please subscribe and give us a like and consider joining our Patreon. Links in the description.